What do I use to make my art? I get this question a lot. To that I say you should ask a more competent artist. But how I normally do art is on an iPad with the Procreate app and some cheap aluminum fiber tip styluses. It's easy to draw on the go, but image size can only be so big. The bigger the image is, the less layers you can create, and sometimes performance suffers. Plus, I gotta email the images to my own computer. And if it's line art, I gotta vector it through Adobe Illustrator through my personal live tray settings. And then I copy it to Photoshop to color. That's how my entire web comic and every podcast avatar has been done. That is until Gaumon sent me a free drawing tablet to review, the Gaumon PD1560. I never had a tablet that draws directly on the computer, so I'm coming into this as but a humble noob. Right out of the box, you have to assemble the stand, but it includes a screwdriver, thank you! The screw placements are symmetrical, so you can place it how you want depending if you're left or right-handed. It's easy to adjust and real sturdy. The tablet requires its own power source and it connects to your computer through a USB and HDMI cord. These cords are attached close together, which may be an issue for some. You turn on the Gaumon and just drive the window you want to this new monitor and you're already drawing. I'm using a Mac, but I heard PCs need some drivers to download first. I've been told graphic design is superior on Macs, but one day I need a gaming PC so I can emulate console games better. The Gaumon screen resolution is 1080p widescreen, the perfect resolution to stream. Meanwhile, the stylus pen included charges through a USB cord. There is no eraser on the top, but it's still pressure sensitive and very responsive on my not so powerful laptop. Should the tip ever get damaged, the stylus holder contains replacements. Gaumon also included this hand sock thing, which I prefer not to use. I'm one to go unprotected, honk honk. It hurts to pee now. Anyway, let's actually draw something. So here I am drawing a character trying to tune out what negative things someone said about me, but it just never works out. This guy is from my webcomic, Loki IRL. It's a world where people bring their cartoons into real life, and IRL, and have them fight other IRL cartoons. It's Chalk Zone meets Pokemon. Problem is, so many cartoons are prone to dying with real world physics in place. If you're wondering why there's a lack of normal skinned humans, they are slowly dying out because people are bringing cartoons to life, having sex with them and making neon colored babies whose skin pigmentation has been altered from the mixture of ink and paint. Look, if you could bang Jessica Rabbit, wouldn't you? Who doesn't want to live in this world? Now, the guy I am drawing is named Kali. He's this weeaboo girl's Dragon Ball Z OC brought to life. He's designed to be huge and loves fighting, but is afraid of going too far in these consensual street fights the state of Texas legalized within the comic. I had a lot of fun designing him. He's kind of like a personified Dragon Ball. Kali's first design was intended to be a crude, edgy DBZ OC, but Kali's artist, Toriyashi, needed to be more skilled as she is a smug gorilla girl who thinks anime is superior to American cartoons. Anime? More like in between frames. What are those? Also, yes, her human mother was fucked by a cartoon monkey and gave birth to her, if you're wondering. Back to the drawing, I wanted to draw a simple 24 by 36 poster with Kali. Now, to show who's a cartoon brought to life, normal humans and normies mixed with IRLs are smooth outlined, while IRLs are really sketchy. I'm just adding as much sketch marks as I can and retroactively showing its anatomy. <laughs> I wanted to try something different with the backgrounds, i.e. not try at all, so I found an old photo I took from the San Antonio Pearl Brewery District. My iPhone 7 takes images at a good size, but it's not enough for such a massive resolution, so it kind of gives it a graininess to it. I just alter the colors and add a solid white Loki IRL logo. Something about it reminds me of an old print ad from the 90s. I guess this is what a live action Loki IRL movie would look like or maybe a Netflix series since they'd probably be into my messed up ideas. Maybe someday. This tablet works really well. It comes with a little carrying sleeve, but it only fits if you unscrew the stand. Personally, I'll still mostly use my far more compact iPad since the touch interface is so easy. But when I need to make any large poster size images, touch up some finished drawings, or actually paint using a pressure sensitive pen, the Gaumon is perfect for that. There's more info in the description and it's fairly cheap. $400 compared to a $2,000 Cintiq, but there's a 4% off deal they're having. 
Any info about that and where to buy is in the description. Please read Loki IRL. Actually, if you do, just skip to issue three. Then again, maybe you need to understand it, so just watch whatever. I don't know. Just keep in mind, it progressively gets better. Look, no one's webcomic starts out good. You just gotta slowly improve on it, you know? I got melody, it seems hot loving Makes me write songs When we walk, you're one step ahead of me When I sing songs, I'm one step ahead of myself I've got late, then 